Perfect, thank you. If you really want enlightenment, then just lighten up. What's going on? It is not possible to be part of the world that experiences the contrast without desire being born within you. But as quickly as you can turn your attention to what it is you would prefer. In other words, it's just like the example that we offered earlier where someone wants more money. They are having a hard time. They can't pay their bills. They are in a very bad financial situation. And out of that is born powerful desire for more money. If they could turn their attention to the idea of money, to the idea of how it would feel to have the dollars flowing easily and therefore away from the, the feeling and the vibration of not enough money. The change in their vibration would then allow their improved situation. And that's true of any individual and it's true of the world in general. There is a war against drugs and a war against poverty and a war against crime and a war against teenage pregnancy and a war against terrorism and a war against AIDS and all of them are getting bigger because in this world that is attraction based there is no such thing as exclusion. When you look at something you want and you say yes to it, you include it in your vibration and things like it flow into your experience. When you look at something you do not want and you shout no at it, you include it in your vibration because in this vibrational based universe, there's no such thing as no. So the more you focus upon what you do not want, the more you offer a vibration that matches it and the more of that you get, you see. So, Jesus said, turn the other cheek, ignore, you say. And we say that's exactly what Jesus was talking about and so many teachers that have come before. But turning the other cheek, you can, you can only ignore so much if someone is, is threatening your physical survival. We know that most people are looking at life in a very action-oriented way and it seems like if someone is aggressively coming at you that you should defend yourself in some way but what we are wanting you to understand that whether you have reason to feel that way or not when you feel that way you have activated a vibration within you that keeps you from allowing the well-being that you're asking for in other words you cannot beat the drum of what is going wrong and let in what is going right. So as people around the world see a plane crash into the Twin Towers, the majority of people around the world did not have that experience and did not need to be vibrationally affected by that experience. But because of your technology and your hunger and thirst for information, most people around the world had access to that information and are now having a vibrational response to what happened. And the vibrational response to what happened 
begets more. And then that begets more. And then that begets more. But is it not human nature? I mean, the, the simplest example is a car accident. You're approaching a car accident on the highway, and it, it looks like it might be quite horrific. And, and part of you doesn't want to see anything horrific, but there seems to be this other part that just can't help but look. And you are focusing mechanisms. You are creators. You've come forth to devour your time, place, reality. It's the way. It's the way you identify what you want. You would not be able to know what you do want if you did not know what you don't.